Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing okay. Today I'll be starting off with these baseballs, uh, plastic baseballs that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be taking them out of the packet and putting them into this box. Now as you can see, some of the balls already have holes in them and that's because I wanted to test this out. I wanted to see if it was easier to spray paint the balls first and then drill the holes or opposite. So I spray painted the baseballs and now I'm using this Mod Podge spray um, instead of the container that it usually comes in. And honestly, it wasn't a good idea. It didn't work for me. Um, it just didn't give it a nice, like a nice enough coat. So I had to do it like a million times. So I would just advise you to use the regular Mod Podge if you uh, decided to do this project. I thought that the spray Mod Podge would make it easier, but it didn't. And back to what I was saying earlier about the holes being in some of the balls. I drilled um, holes in some of the balls because I wanted to see um, if it would be easier to drill the holes in the balls after the glitter was on, or would it be easier to drill the holes in the balls first and then add the glitter. So now to the boards, I got this board. This was one solid board from Home Depot and they cut it in three for me. Um, they didn't do an amazing job, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but I just measured as you can see and I am drilling um, four holes, one in each corner. And by the way, this board was only $7. Um, I guess it depends on your Home Depot, but you can always find affordable wood at Home Depot. So after I drilled holes in all three boards, I then got this adhesive paper from Walmart that I also use in another project. And I'm just gonna cover the board with it. And I'm doing this to smooth out the board on top since I will be using this as a shelf. And as you all know, well, some of you know, I am still waiting on this um, mirror reflected paper from Amazon. It's still in China. So um, I'm going to spray paint this silver uh, just because Walmart didn't have any silver at the time. And I will now be just going through and opening the hole. And this is how it looked when all three of my boards were complete. This roll came from a gift wrapping roll that I had and I just made some lines on there. I'll leave the measurements in the description box below. And I will be using these as a dividers to divide the baseballs um, and also to save um, more money and space. And if you don't want to go this route, you can use the napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. And I will be cutting out a total of 24 rolls. And by the way, I always go the cheapest route with my DIYs just because I know some of my subscribers like that. And I know some people can't afford to go out and buy all of these items. So I try to use things that um, are cheaper. And with that being said, I will always try to offer other options. And I will also like to say that this channel is dedicated to people on a budget. And with that being said, if you're not on a budget, that's fine too. I will give you the options of other more appropriate things to use. And after they are finished, I'll be spray painting my dowels silver. And I just wanted to show you that I already pre-drilled the ends of them. And I'm gonna be taking these washers and drilling them to the end. And now that my balls are dry, I am gonna start drilling the holes in. And uh, remember earlier when I told you that I only drilled some of them because I wanted to see what was better? Um, I would definitely 
um, drill the holes before next time. This was just, it honestly was a mess. Um, mixed with the spray not working as it should. Next, I'll be taking my balls and I'll be putting them on the dowels. Guys, I am trying so hard not to call the dowels doyles. I know I did that in the other video and I'm trying to learn, but it's so hard. <laughs> And now that I'm done putting the balls on my dowels, I am going to take the board and pull the dowels through. And then I'm going to go on with the pattern that I chose, which is one ball, then a roll, and then a ball. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, this thing is wobbly as hell. Don't worry about that. I got this. Just keep watching. And as I continue, you will start seeing the shelf become more sturdy. Now, after I put these balls on, I will take my next piece of wood and I will add it um, on top of my dowels. I will then take the E6000 and I'll just be going on top of uh, the balls that are connected to the plywood. And then I will continue on putting the balls on the shelf. The secret to the sturdiness is the shelves that I'm adding on uh, mixed with the balls and then on top of that the dowels. The secret of having the sturdy shelf is making sure that the bottom of the dowel to the top of the dowel is filled. So now I'm adding my last uh, piece of plywood or my last shelf. And all I have space for is one more roll and one more ball. And I will also go back and add touch-ups with the glitter after this is done. And now I'll be taking my washer and my screw and I'll be um, screwing in the screw into the hole that I pre-drilled earlier. And now I'll show you where I had a slight problem. Do you see that gap there? There's still like a major gap on the top. Having a gap at the top that big will make the shelf not sturdy. So what I did was replace that piece with another piece, a bigger piece of the roll. And as you can see, now that I added that ball, it made everything flesh. And we like flesh, especially for this project. So I'm gonna reiterate this again. The whole dowel has to be covered for this shelf to be sturdy. Like from top to bottom, it has to be flesh. So before you get to the top, make sure all your balls are flesh. Make sure they're all pushed all the way down the way they're supposed to be. And the last thing I did was add these mirrors on top to cover the washers. You can use marbles from the Dollar Tree if you like. And I'm using these mirror tiles to just cover up the blemishes. Um, as you can see, I added some to the shelf. And I got these mirrors from the Dollar Tree. I just took them out of their frame and I'm just using it to cover the shelf. Now, this shelf will be going inside of my bathroom. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. I am so in love with this shelf and it's gonna fit perfectly inside of my bathroom. I'm gonna show you a clip of it inside the bathroom. I just wanted you guys to see the full shelf before I added it into the bathroom. If you have any questions about my DIYs or how to do them, please email me. And as always, thank you for watching and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay safe out there.